G'day viewers, if anybody chooses to watch, how we doing? Kind of an unusual time for me, but I felt like playing with a couple of big boys. So we are big boys over Tetcha Happy Pass. Bugger. <laughs> I just knocked my phone charger on the floor, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello, CCT Mitch. How are you? Just gone from a standing start in a hill. Let's see if I can keep them going. Well, that sounds a bit weird from a distant whistle. Hello, Andreas. How are you? I haven't tried Challenger and Big Boy together yet. I got Big Boy yesterday. Oh, what the hell? Let's play with a Big Boy. And I thought, what better place to play with them than make them go up a really steep hill, which they will be shortly. In fact, I need to pick up some speed before I get there. Working is always fun, Mitch. Always fun. Not. Yeah, we've hit the steep bit. Do you know, I think last time I used Big Boy on Tetra Happy Pass would have been in Microsoft Train Simulator back in the early 2000s. Oh, I shouldn't have to worry about the stokers. I've got Mr. Automatic running, I think. Yep. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about anything. Well, maybe. And here we are at the back. Long way from the front. There you go. We are where I thought we were. You can see the front of our train over there. So this is why Puffing Billy needs um, 25 car trains, Mitch, because we could do this at Landslide. And at the place where Bridge 6 should be. All good. How we go. We got steam. We got no brakes on. We're doing okay. Oh, haven't put any headlights on yet. Uh, that way. Yep. Andreas, you had a five hour run yesterday. Oh, I did see you start streaming in the dark. Yes. And I had been out all day and I was kind of knackered. We have 4,006 and 4014, Mitch. That just happens to be what I got. This is a quick drive. Well, we can run double garrets now. If we pull our digits out, we can run triple garrets. Mind you, that second one is um, would be more of a new garret by the time it outshopped. Oh, they're starting to struggle on the hill. More grunt. Will it work with less cutoff, or am I going to give it more? That's the question. Or will I just leave some of that train behind? Because, you know, I really don't care. My objective is purely to get up the hill. Ooh, more cutoff. How's my steam pressure looking? Oh, steam pressure's all right. be a slow trip. I might just have to leave some of this train behind, I think. It's just too heavy. So there's our locomotives up there. About there. Bye-bye. Oh. Well, let me do it. Don't tell me I'll have to stop and let them off. Gonna be a slow trip up the hill. Ooh, my second boy's opened his cylinder cocks. Mmm. A 
it's at this point when all else fails. Yeah, turn this bloke on. But he's stopping. Why is he stopping? Auto engineer fail. <laughs> now we've got our auto driver engaged, but he's stopped and he's now rolling backwards. This is pretty funny. What's he going to do? I think he's going to fail. And now that we've got some slack, can we uh, do anything with that? No. Oh, no. He's trying again. He's moving. He's trying pretty hard. Do you reckon he can get it? What do you think? Can the auto engineer make it move? on what is basically a 2.2% gradient. Headlight switched towards the front of the cab. I don't know why I'm down so low. Yeah, the auto engineer guy is actually managing to accelerate, which is vaguely impressive. But I kind of think he's trained just a little bit heavy for this gradient. I really do. But we'll see. We'll see what he can do. Oh, nearly lost it. There was slippage there. And we get up the hill. Oop, cylinder cuts closed. It's always a game on a hill. That's the steam pressure going. Well, 300, that's not too bad. Given that he's right on the block and he's, uh, in full cutoff, I'm surprised that that's staying at 300. Mr. Feynman over there must be doing an awfully good job. Look at him just sitting back, relaxing, doing nothing. It's all good. No problems here. Nothing to see. And it's that echo of the dual beat of having two of them. Shouldn't bother with a hut. They clearly are managing to still accelerate, which I'm quite impressed at. How did your big nighttime run go, Andreas? I wonder if the back of it's actually on the hill yet. Oh yeah. Back of it's, it is on the 2% because that's about where it starts. Just about that bridge. So it's doing okay, surprisingly. It's the front of our train all the way up there. Such a long way away. You know, if this was Train Sim World, you wouldn't have been able to see the locos because they wouldn't be drawn. Who said that? I didn't say that. I was never here. Can't prove a damn thing. How are they going on the speed front? Nine miles an hour. It's going to be a whopper of a trip up the hill if this is as fast as we can go. Oh, I'm sharing my cursor again, aren't I? I'm 
turn that on occasionally when I'm making tutorials and things. But I don't need it for this. Let me get rid of it. Cursor gone. Yep, that's better. So we're not far off the release of the uh, new triple loco pack. Well, it's actually a lo two locos and a train for uh, Train Sim World 3. Whoop, tunnel time. Where's that thing? Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Damn it. Where's the thing? That one? All right, Sander. Nah. Nah. Aha! Now we have to stay in here for a little while. Just content ourselves. At least my lights are turned on so I can see things. Yep, coming out of the tunnel. I closed that pool, didn't I? That one? so short. I wonder how long it's going to take to get over the pass at this rate. It is not quick. It is not quick at all. And will we break a coupler? That could happen. I'm wondering if I should restart this if I did this with too big a train, because it is a pretty big one. It's about a mile long or something silly like that. Because I have to say, going up the grade at 5 mile an hour isn't going to be particularly exciting. Hmm. What do you reckon, chat? I did try uncoupling half of it, and it won't let me. Too much strain on the couplers would be my bet. I'm thinking, because I don't want such a boring slow trip up the hill, that we're going to do this. We're going to go back into quick drive. And we're going to keep those. But we're going to choose a different consist. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't make me go back in here. Gah. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep the same consist. We're not going to change. What we're going to do is we're going to bust the thing in half while we're sitting on the flat. That'll work. Yes, yes, I don't have all the DLC. I know that. You know that. Uh, let's get you stopped. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Not that much brakes. And put all of you on. Get you open. Now, can we bust off half of this train now? There's the loco. About there. I bust it off? No, we have to go for a walk, do we? Feels like we've got to go for a walk. Clunk. See you later, train. Have fun. We're going up the front where the fun bits are. Bit more. Get our train brake release. That's picking up. Bit more. Get our engine brake off. 
Air brakes have come off. Oh no, I'm cheating now. Come on, you're lighter now. Let's get out of here. This is better. I think on the saluted grade, you'd probably want four or five big boys. Do you think anyone knows it's not coming? Pick five big boys, two carriages, and a caboose. That would be all you'd get on Saluda Grey. And I don't care that I'm going too fast. I just do not care, because I've got a big bloody hill to get up. I want to build up some speed. Hello, Railways Through the Lens. How are you? Has anybody made Saluda Grade for um, Train Sim? Why am I losing so much speed? Isn't my expert fireman on? No, he was on. He's just not very good at it. That's okay. I'm just going to keep using all of his steam. At the moment, we're doing all right. I'll get rid of the HUD now, because I just don't care what speed I'm going anymore. Doesn't bother me at all. I am good railways through the lens. How about you? I'm happier now I've left half my train behind. You'll see it as we pan round to the left here. With a brakeman in the caboose on the back going, He left me behind! You bastard! Don't know if it'll keep doing well speed-wise, we'll see. Only the free world version. Oh, on um, Railworks America. I should have a look. You know, this bloke's struggling either with half a train. Let's see if he does any better. I thought he was going to put the brakes on then, but no. See how this guy goes with half a train. Oh, I was at Puffing Billy on Saturday. Did my track patrol and spent the rest of the day playing with a Climax. That sounds wrong. Climax Locomotive, 1694. Yeah, I think he still can't get up the hill even with this short train. I don't think our AI agent is doing a very good job. What is he trying to do in here? He's got no boiler pressure. He's not got much going on in the steam chest. What are you doing, bloke? You're making the man up in the back upset. But he's just not very good at this, is he? And he stopped again. I'm pretty sure he put the brakes on. Has he? Oh no, doesn't have the brakes on. Now he's rolling backwards. Uh, AI engineer, what are you doing to me? Do I need to help you out again? Can I get rid of the rest of the cars? And just run the two big boys? That got it. Bye train. Enjoy your roll. So the only way the AI engineer can get up the hill is to take away all the cars and run him light engine. 
Ah, what a life. That's all right. We'll run two big boys up over Tetra Happy Pass. That's fine. It's all good. But since I've only got these two, maybe I should drive again. Because he's still going to go way too slow. So let's turn off our engineer. Get back in here. Crank it. What not you win on the reverser? 20? Really? Uh, Andreas Dangle says, Do you think you make a scenario on Marias backdated with the ATSF or Atch Atchapika and Santa Fe Classic pack? Yeah, it could fit. Why not? Anything fits that you want to have fit. Need a little udon. And railway through the lens said he heard about the climax transfers. He's following a day until Emerald and got some good shots. That's good. Yeah, not many people knew about the climax transfer because it wasn't on the S notice. Get rid of this HUD because I don't care that I'm speeding. It just doesn't matter to me. Not today. Because today's all about fun. I have to admit, I spent more time playing with the Climax than um, taking video or pictures of it. But that's just me, isn't it? And we've got our steam pressure back. No more firemen over there, though. But that's okay. What do you reckon happened to the train? Is it gone? Should we go look? Because they do roll away in TSC sometimes. I wonder if this one has. No, nah, still there. And there's the other half down there. Breakman down the bottom's going, what is he doing? But that's okay. Mm. Short tunnels, I'm not worried about the hood. We'll just blow the rocks out of the ceiling. Because it's not as though he's working hard or anything. Hey, sorry, mate. You're not going to be able to go. I left me carriages on the main. That's all right, isn't it? You can pick them up. Imagine explaining that to your dispatcher. Well, I didn't feel like taking him up the hill. So I didn't. And their motto on the side of their cars down there is, we will deliver. Not today, you won't. So what's your bet on how fast we're actually going? I don't know if I want to look. Because I'm tipping about 40 mile an hour at the moment. You know, this would have been funnier if I'd left one car on it. That would have been heaps funnier. Next time.
I think this is the second time I've even used this route. I don't even know how far away the pass is. There I look. Oh, we've got a while to go, haven't we? Just a little while. That's alright. This speed it shouldn't take too long to get there. Because we are going pretty quick. The track would be feeling that. I got different locomotives this time, didn't I? 4005 and 4013 this time. This is where Smokebox turns up in the chat and goes, Why are you torturing my locomotives? should check while I'm here. I'll check it on this. Have I made a thousand yet? It's got to be close. Let's have a look. No, don't play a video. It's not what I want you to do at all. I want you to go in there. Oh, close. 991. I mean the Twilight Train run, Mitch. I was thinking about buying tickets. I wonder if they're still available. Could use our massive volunteer discount of what is it? Ten percent or something? Steam pressure's recovering. Old mate's getting better at it. Can you imagine hand firing through this place? It'd be a nightmare. I should have my red light on the back, shouldn't I? Let's only put it on that loco. That's no good. Hang on. I'll have to go to the other loco. Let's turn it off here. Alright. Off you go. Alright. We're in the second one now. I'm going to turn on this one's red light. There we go. That's better. Andreas asked maybe some of the steam engines from the Penn Steam route. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, what else ran on Morais? New York Central? Oops, who knew there was a road crossing there? Nope. Geez, that red light lights up the environment behind it, doesn't it? That's a bright light. I've got the Pennsylvania Steam Locos. I've streamed that route once. It's a good route. I like that one. I 
I don't know why it got um, taken off sale, but it did a long time ago. Oh, the bell does work. So there's new stuff coming out for Train Sim World 3. Uh, for Aussies, it's sometime Wednesday morning, I guess. Uh-oh. And you know what? That wasn't even my train. That was another one. Do you get the impression that train went through the red signal? Ooh, naughty train. Oh, well. Uh, what are we going to do instead, then? Damn it. All right. Let's do it again, but this time we'll do it properly. Will we do it properly? I don't know. No, don't bother saving it. But we're still going to get rid of half our train. Because, you know, let's get some brakes on before this rolls away. First service should be fine. Put you on full bore. All right. We're in Caliente. Oh, this might be a little bit hard to get going. A little bit. Ah, oh, well. Same deal as before. Let's get rid of some of the train. But you know what I'm going to do this time? I'm going to go the funny version. What do you reckon? This should be good. Cox. Oh, and you're pushing against your own brake. Don't try so hard. I've actually got a car? I do. I've got one. Fantastic. Still being silly, clearly. Hello, Patriarchal 61. Yes. I think I know what happened to the AI train. It ran into my train. Is this the best consist ever or what? Get rid of that HUD. Who cares that we're speeding? I'm having a silly day. There you go. Best consist ever. Hello, Crazy Dash. Yeah, I think that what is what happened, Andreas, would be my guess. Cut off if I got, and that'll be fine. Just bring the throttle back, pick it, and let that poor guy have some steam back. Me, naughty, naughty? What? You know it's naughty, mate. My train's down there. I didn't want it. He's not going so fast now. Because he can't. Why are you slowing down so much? That's actually surprising. Oh, that'd be why. Now, is it a loco brake for time or this one? Brake wipe overcharge. Oh no, I won't be able to stop. Release you too, don't we? Oh, I can't control the controls in this one. Hmm. <laughs> Andreas Dink says maybe a big boy with a snowplow on Donna Pass would be nice. Yeah, I reckon so. I'm actually going to have to fix this brake overcharge, aren't I? We're not going to go anywhere.
Only one way to fix it. Big hole. Come on, you. Go over the notch. Oh, come on. We'll just let it keep pulling against its own brakes. Now I should be able to charge it back up and release it again. Oh, my day's okay. I'm not being very nice to these locomotives, though. I'm kind of harassing them. Quite a lot. That's feeling better. But did our brakes actually release properly? Uh, not yet. Uh, let me get hold of it. There we go. Now we got it. Much better. So my day was alright. How about yours? Taking our very precious cargo of whatever's in here. All one car. No, uh -oh. better turn the hard off or Crazy Dash will get upset. Hey, was that your screenshot in um, Train Sim World, Crazy Dash, with the lightning? Or was that someone else? I think we'll get another AI collision. Yeah, I think they might need a service, Andreas. Badly. They are being spanked just a little bit. How fast are we going? Ooh, way too fast. Let's let that speed come down a bit or we're never getting around the corners. Crazy Dash says there's a nuclear bomb inside the uh, box car, so don't derail because I don't want to die. Ah, that's fair enough. I'm tipping blowing one of these up would be quite spectacular too, really. Oh, this is the tunnel with a uh, whistle board at the other end. Let's just put the smoke hood on. So we don't eat away the tunnel roof. I reckon it must have had a braking issue that first run too. This is where we saw that other train last time. So something's changed. Even though it's a quick drive, and in theory nothing would. This should be a safe enough speed to run it at. Should I change my stream title, Crazy Dash, to Two Big Boys and a Bomb?
<laughs> I think I can do it when the stream's running. I've never tried. Apparently I can. Can't have it driving below the speed limit. This scenery could almost be an Australian route. Twenty five is a bit slow, isn't it? I think 30 will look better. I've already gotten further than last time. There's our steam pressure looking. 300, not using enough steam, clearly. Most American freight slow, Crazy Dash. It's the way it is. So a question about this crossing here. When the train goes by, you'll see why. Where do they actually go? So it crosses one track and they can't get over the other track. Oh well. Catcher Happy's only slow going up. Going down the other side can be awfully fast. We haven't seen any other traffic this time this is where the other train died so we're getting this far yeah I think it is a one-way crossing Patriotal 61 it's a strange concept maybe you just need a seriously heavy-duty vehicle on the other side What was that in Lang Lang yesterday? I was thinking how much fun it would be to stick a broad gauge trolley on the old line out there. It seems to be mostly intact apart from the crossings and the occasional tree where it shouldn't be. Might have to take a chainsaw, but I reckon it'd be a fun run. Go with four or five people so that you can uh, manhandle the trolley around the tr around the crossings. Oh, it'll be lots of fun. And I'm clearly not a fan of 14L. Oh no, we're slowing down. Fix that. It's like waiting up there on the hill for us.
Isn't it funny that I um, don't care about speeding, but I care about not blowing the tunnel roof out? Big Boy uses air brakes. Westinghouse air brakes. Train brake there, currently in release. Oh, Fireman's doing something. He's testing the gauge glasses. How cool is that? Hello, Mark B. Oh, you didn't miss much. We've restarted it a couple of times because I'm taking my enormous train up the hill. There it is. That's it. My enormous train. Indeed, Westinghouse brakes are a bit interesting. They work okay. We're about to surprise some UP locomotives coming through here. There's a pair of them waiting for us here. Getting a bit quick again. It's weird that it's accelerating better with one car on the back than it did with none. But before I was using about 80% power to keep my speed up and now I'm on 30. Is my fireman standing on his chair? Oh no, he's just got his feet up. Okay. Imagine taking two great big steam engines past a train full of ethanol. You'd be holding your breath all the way past. Going, I hope it's not too hot. Why didn't anybody warn me I wasn't speeding anymore? I disappointed myself. Now hopefully that train doesn't go down the hill and crack into my train. Uh, safety valve. I clearly need to use more steam. They're both blowing off. How close are we to the loop? I think it's a while, actually. Yeah, it's a bit of a trip. I can't do double the speed limit because we'll come up on the corners. Should be safe enough at 30 mile an hour. Now, will we get to the loop before that crashes into my train? That's the question. Hopefully we will.
All right, night, mate. Enjoy your classes. I hope they're, they're good. Hope you're enjoying your uh, degree, too. That lever I'm pulling closes the uh, smoke deflector on the top. I don't know if I can do it in the back one. Let's try. No, I can. Look at that. So they've both got their deflectors on now. Oh, they do fit. Leave the deflectors, got another tunnel coming. What I do want to do when I get excited enough about it is take um, this big boy and the original big boy and put them back to back and then write some lure code to see if I can make them try and pull each other apart. See which one's stronger. I've got better adhesion. Sadly, my bet would be is that it would actually be the other one that would win that because it will have been programmed so poorly whereas this one's programmed really well I think it'd be good fun. I did it with the challenges. The uh, new challenger won. I don't think I ever published that video. Should do something about that. This guy's going to get to go or not? Hmm. Maybe it's waiting for that switch to change. Oh, well, leave them there. Cars and cars and brand new cars. And isn't it funny that they spent billions of dollars building these closed in auto racks to solve the problem of people stealing the wheels and car radios out of cars on their way to the dealers? 
Ah, uh, America. Home of the free. That's a pretty long train, isn't it? There he goes. He's either got the green or he's just rolling away because he can't hold it on the hill anymore. Scare a few motorists. Hey, British Ace. See for yourself. My very important cargo. <laughs> Gratuitous bridge shot coming up. I'm just having a silly afternoon, British Ace. I started out with a full train, but it couldn't get up the hill, so I left it behind. I've actually done that twice, because the first time I did it, one of the AIs crashed into it. But this time I left it inside a signal, protected. So it should be okay. Oh, it's a seven now. It was nine before. Oh, well, nearly there. First thousand would be pretty cool. I tell people I'm totally blasé, and I haven't been looking at it, but that wouldn't be true. It's like, come on. I need a few more. I don't have my headlight on, how terrible. That's better. I keep waiting for my mate from Chicago to wake up and go, you're not doing 14L. And then he'll realise I'm doing over the speed limit. You know, it just gets sadder and sadder. Hello, little town in the middle of nowhere. Have some noise. You'd think you'd want a buffer car between a um, box car with a bomb in it and your train, wouldn't you? Oh, I'm hoping the AI doesn't crash. I did leave the train protected behind signals. Yeah, I tend to agree with that British Ace. It's their own fault for making 
tracks that can only do 25 miles an hour. I'd quite happily go faster than this, but I don't think it would get round the corners. I think I'd end up with a big pile of big boy pieces. Couple of UP drivers over there going, what is that? Creek. Turn off the HUD and fang it. Unless you're doing my Gronk scenario. I think it took the little Gronk nearly four hours to get up the hill at Cane Creek. I just left it streaming one day. I wasn't even there. I just dropped in and checked on it every now and again. How are we traveling pass-wise? Uh, not too bad. Almost there. Not that we'll be able to see the um, front of our train from the back of our train or anything like that this time. But will we get there before the AI trains do anything dumb? That's the question. Looking forward to playing with the new stuff, British House. Is the Dispolock Yellow Banana. And the Railhead Treatment Train with yet more 66ers. And the Santa Fe Warbonnet F7. And they're all coming out on the 4th, if you live in uh, the other side of the dateline, or the 5th, if you live on my side of the dateline. Well, it's kind of what it is, Patriot All 61. It's, it's a banana. It looks like a banana. Oh, hang on, we're in America. It's a banana. It's a stray pink container. I wonder who put that there. Wouldn't be someone named Matt. Where's me lever? Oop, no, not that one. Or was it that one? Maybe it was that one. Yep, it was that one, but it's too late now. All good. Doesn't matter. Now 
Now this is America. Good sized shed. Farmhouse. Another shed. Kenworth. And the double wide. Oh no, a lie, it's only a single. Must be poor people. Oh no, there we go, there we go. Look, over here. The double wide. Oh, we're there, aren't we? We are indeed there. We just crossed over our own track. All this way and I missed it. That's funny. Oh well. I think the banana will be fun, fun, and the reason why I think the banana will be fun is because it comes with some daytime freight runs. And you can go and annoy the ICE trains by running freight in the daytime. It's a good idea. Well, we have indeed made it to the pass. And through the other side. Would you imagine living down there? All day and all night, you'd have trains coming past in notch eight in one direction. Wob, 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 wob. And the other direction, they'd be going down with screaming dynamics. That is a serious train. Here's a thought for you all. Does the scenery look better in Train Simulator Classic because we expect it to look worse and we accept things like these uh, low resolution rocks? Say hello to the good old boys. It's a bit of an anachronism, I suppose, because if you think about the time frame of Little Boy, it actually would have been transported by steam engines. Yeah, I think that could be right, Patriotal 61. We expect it to be worse, and we're happy when it's better. We should pick up a helper engine for the descent. No, 
not using enough steam again, am I? More steam. Yeah, and there's some routes in TSC. This one looks quite nice. The um, Riviera in the 50s is just amazing. The New Zealand route, Midlands Line, is really impressive. My machine struggles a little bit with Midlands Line, but it's because the uh, depth of the scenery is very deep. No, it's perfectly okay to have your opinion, Patriotal 61. I know I'm an ambassador, but I do think some of it could be better. It was the one thing I checked into during the becoming an ambassador process was that I would still be allowed to express my thoughts. And I am, so it's fine. I wonder how many rail fans would be lined up along this dirt road. Big boy's coming. I've got to go chase big boy. Big boy's coming. Mark B says the US freight routes remind him of New Zealand main lines. Everything goes really slow. Well, that's because New Zealand main lines, what are they? Three foot six, aren't they? They're little. Like our railway, our railway's really slow. Mind you, if you're on the footplate rolling around at 15 mile an hour, you really don't feel it being slow. It's, it feels quite quick. On the diesels, it's a little sedate. But on the steam engines, it's very quick because they're rough. And most of the time, I'm just concentrating on getting my shovel full of coal through the hole. Drive across this crossing, fall down a cliff. Seems fair. So neither of us gets a speedo. Unless there's one somewhere else. I don't see one anywhere. That's ah, alright. More tunnels. Yeah, it would be good to see some changes on BML. I think it would be fun. It's such a popular one too. Yeah, Mark, in a, a young land born of many volcanoes in a very short time, the uh, topography of New Zealand is, what's the best way to describe it? Sharp and pointy. And when it's not sharp and pointy, it's wet. So that's about your two in-betweens, isn't it? It's either wet or it's sharp and pointy. have that many far to go. Seven miles left. I haven't been back to New Zealand for a little while. We should fix that. Last time I was in New Zealand would have been 20... 2018 maybe? Maybe 2019? Something like that. In South Island. In Queenstown, and we drove across to Dunedin, went to Cordova, went to uh, the Sound, as you do, so you can visit the fjords by Slaty Bartfast.
we went out on a uh, little cruise boat on Milford Sound and there were two backpacker girls who joined all the boys up the front because these little tour boats nose into the waterfall and they all took their shirts off and nosed into the waterfall and then found out that that really really hurts and it's really really cold and the rest of us laughed at them it's kind of funny Get away! Too late. Isn't that weird that when you do the view and it pans the camera down like this, you can see into the firebox? And I'm tipping it wouldn't be that dull red. That school bus is fast. Yeah, they were all a bit red. But you know, as they say, you only live once. Some lessons you have to learn the hard way. We've all been there, we've all done dumb things. Now I need to know. Oop, let me up there. Fourth Avenue, West 150th and 50, 55th Street. I'd be a little bit surprised at that. What does the next one say? Same thing. Yep, still one mile away. School bus is drifting. Excellent. Still one mile away. We're stuck in a loop. Never get any closer. I don't think I've ever seen them split off into two roads like that. Yeah, things you find out. Yeah, that's it exactly. The only way to learn is get it wrong. Yep, I agree with that. I used to work in a youth organisation and that was sort of our, our way. Let the kids get it wrong and stuff it up as long as they're not going to hurt themselves too much. Because they learn a lot more from that than some old fart with a beard going, Don't do it that way. Anyone know what town this is? Anyone else think the loco was going to fall on me then? I had a very strange lean into it coming into that corner. This could almost be an Australian tree. Could almost use that. There are tons of Australian trees in California. Some crazy German dude in about 1903 came out in a ship to Australia and he brought along some California redwoods and he planted them in three places in Victoria. 
two of the places still survive to this day and have quite large manicured forests with a little bit of natural growth. And they're photographer's paradises, those things. They look really cool. And the same bloke took back a bunch of gum trees back to California. And I'm betting in bushfire season they really wish he hadn't. Because they are some of the only trees in the world that can just catch fire on a hot day. Because they emit a cloud of flammable oil into the air. They atomize it. Must be nearly there. Three miles. Would you be at all surprised to know that this town we're going through is in fact called Tetrahappy? How about that? I wonder if it was the same person that brought those redwoods out, Mark Reed. That would be interesting. He was some kind of furniture maker and he wanted to try and grow the woods in the, the different countries to use them for furniture. And the redwoods got planted in their forest and pretty much stayed there. They didn't stray very much because there was nothing to make them seed and leave those areas. Whereas, of course, Australian eucalypts, self-seeding, go everywhere. And they like a good fire because that's how they spread. Look at that, it really is Tetra Happy. Fair enough. Geez, you'd be pissed off crossing in the middle of your town and someone's left a train parked across it. You'd be so happy having to go the long way around. Do I get the impression we're on flat ground? We are indeed. Maybe the guy was touring the planet, just transplanting giant piles of trees everywhere. The yellow signal. Gone all quiet. Ooh, we're lucky we didn't lose the bomb then. It's gone very quiet. I might want a little bit more engine brake, I think. Because I am kind of supposed to stop. Maybe a bit of train brake too. Let's give it all the brakes. We can try a bit of gentle persuasion. Uh, I think we just ran through a red light. You have reached the end, just as you derailed. Excellent.
Well, did I actually derail? Um, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, outstanding. Scenario complete, then derail. That's perfect. I like it. And there's Little Boy sitting in its box. And a whole lot of people going, uh-oh. It's time to run away. Anyway, it's been fun. I'm going to go and make some dinner now. Seems like a fun thing to do. Is anybody else getting dizzy? I'm getting dizzy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, folks. It's been great chatting with you and uh, joining me on this silly quest with two big boys and a little boy. So have fun and I shall see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.